upon a time Apple users were secure thinking that no viruses were gunning for apples, that they were mainly going for Windows computers. Those days seem to be gone as some viruses have now begun targeting Apple and Macintosh computers. Well, luckily ESET is looking out for you. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to download and install ESET Cybersecurity for Mac. Let's get started. Okay, to get started we want to click on Safari, go to www.eset.com, click on download, scroll down to ESET Cybersecurity, click on I already purchased. It's going to ask you to choose a language, go ahead and do that and click on download. Uh, the download will begin. You want to click on continue on these first couple pages. Uh, this is giving us the system specs requirements. Um, go ahead and uh, agree to the license terms, click continue. We want to go ahead and select typical for the installation type. Okay, here it's asking about the enable live grid early warning system. What that does is it takes findings that it's found on your computer and it adds them into their grid uh, to improve the product in the future. Uh, so this is optional on your part. I usually say yes to this. Go ahead and select that and click OK. Now it's going to ask us if we want to enable detection of potentially unwanted applications or disable detection. We want to enable, so select that and click continue. That's telling us how much space it's going to use and now it's going to go ahead and install the product. Okay, now it's going to show you your activation options. The first being activate using an activation key. This would be the serial number in the ESET box or you might also get emailed the serial number if you have renewed online. Second is activate using a username and password, which you go to eset.com slash microcenter and fill out the form with the serial number and it will give you a username and password. And third is activate trial license, which gives you a 30-day trial of ESET. That's how to download and install ESET Cybersecurity for Mac. If you have any other questions, come visit us at www.microcentertech.com.